lot of people have been asking me how I got this warp speed effect on this little loop. And it's actually very simple. So let's hop into it. Let's go ahead and make a new composition. I'm just going to do a square here of 12 frame per second because it can get a little bit heavy, but it really doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new solid. Do white. The first thing we want to do is add the effect CC starburst. You see, we already got a star field. Look at that. We're almost done. So let's go ahead and we're going to put the speed at zero. And let's just adjust the scatter until we have like some kind of density that you want your star field to have. So maybe about here for me. And since we put the speed at zero, we have currently have no movement. So I'm going to go to like one second for when I want my star jump to start happening. And I'm going to make a keyframe on the speed. And then maybe at five seconds ahead, I'm going to crank the speed all the way up to five. And then that'll go for a couple seconds. And I'll make another keyframe. And then it's going to drop back down to zero. And then we're going to ease the, the first and last keyframe with the ease. And I'll go into the graph editor and just crank these. So now we have the basis of this kind of star jump. Great. And I actually, that was a happy little accident here since I, since my keyframe dipped below zero, it kind of backed up at first. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it's kind of cool. So I'll just keep that. Great. So now what we want to do is we want that kind of drag on the stars. So we're going to add another effect, echo. And we'll drag this on. Echo is basically just going to duplicate all of these stars according to the number of echoes that we put here. So let's make keyframes on the number of echoes that match here. So first, we just want one. And then when it's reaching its peak here, we want like 100 echoes. Boom. But there's some spacing issues that are happening here. So we need to play with this value. So I think we want this to be lower. So let's try something like that. That's pretty close. Maybe this should be like 2.5. Great. And then keep this keyframe the same here, and then it's going to drop back down to one over here. And then again, we'll want to ease these to make them have the same kind of animation properties. So everything is consistent. And I'll just open up the graph editor and crank these again. And here is about now it's going to start chugging a little bit. And if you have a bad computer, might start to explode. And if things are going really rough for you, maybe you can open up your preview window and put on a skip frame or two. Um, and I would recommend if you, if you have a good animation here, you can put out, render this and then drop it back into your full animation. But yeah, this, this is pretty much the effect. Now you got a cool, uh, a cool warp drive. You can make, you can remake the new star Wars movie. However you like. Thanks for watching.